Okay, okay, okay. Hate is a pretty strong word, but in all fairness, a lot of people are very, very, very upset about Jaclyn Hill's new makeup line. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you haven't yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I love engaging with all of you beautiful people out there. All right, so yeah, for those of you who are not caught up to date, uh, Jacqueline Hill, who is a beauty guru influencer here on YouTube who has released uh, a few products with other companies in the past. She just announced and launched her whole makeup line, all right? And yeah, well, it's not a whole makeup line, it's lipstick, okay? And yeah, it's gone out and there is not a good response, all right? Because Miss Jaclyn Hill seems to have been selling some expired products and what's even worse is that she actually sold out of this. So she has a very, very loyal fan base who has been waiting for her to launch this and whether they bought this out of the love of, you know, her products or just their love of her and just want to support her, this thing got sold out. So this is a major issue. So I want to touch on a few different points and try to see what we can learn from this. But I will tell you this, there is one clear winner in this. Like, I don't know what is happening, but YouTube keeps recommending me Raw Beauty Christie. Now, Raw Beauty Christie, she is the real winner in this one. Not only is she one of the least problematic beauty influencers out there, but girl got 1.6 million views as of recording this video on that video. And you got the, the mid rolls in there, girl. Hoo, 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 hoo. Make that paper. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so if you want to go check out her review of it, she like takes it and like puts it under a microscope and things like that. But anyways, yeah, it seems like this product has been sitting there for quite some time. So Jacqueline Hill started getting some backlash when some people started talking about this. Well, I think the first person who talked about this, Jacqueline Hill like kind of clapped back at him, right? And just like said some stuff and then more and more people came out and she's like, okay, and had to dial back a little bit. And this brings up this debate about the customer always being right and you know, should somebody get defensive? And when I see these situations and as somebody who's been watching the YouTube community for quite some time now, I look and I, I gauge what's happening with previous scenarios. So one scenario that comes to mind is when James Charles released his palette and somebody came out talking about how they had a reaction to it on their eyes, right? I wanna make it very clear. The hives that I'm getting on my eyes are not from my makeup remover or base. I've used both of the products for years. Never had hives from them. I use them literally every day. I got a sister slay wherever I go. But James did not warn me about the staining. He didn't tell any of us. I watched all his promotions on the palette. He didn't say that it would look like I have goddamn eyeshadow on still after I tried to remove it. Like, look at me. He took pink eye to a whole new level. I've been trying all the colors because I wanted to make a review video on it for my YouTube channel. I can safely say you should skip using the color skip. People are trying to say because it's a pressed pigment that I should know that pressed pigments can stain. None of the others did this. And it's not just me who has had reactions like this. One of my other really good friends got the palette as well. And guess what? Same shit happened to her. She has swollen eyes, it stained her skin, and she has hives. Explain that. Mr. Charles, read my mind, Charles. Pretend you're an X-Men for a second. It is not okay to do this to anyone. I don't care what formula it has, but you should never, ever, ever try to promote a product that does this to another human being. Why did no beauty gurus talk about this? They all tried the products on their channel. They all did swatches. They did eye looks. Not once did I ever hear any of them talk about this issue. Ah, oh, well, maybe it didn't stain for them. Then how come it stains for everybody else I know? Everyone is just trying to sister suck James Charles and Morphe. Well, not me, honey. 
thick as limp and will stain your comforter and probably gave you syphilis. James Charles, similar to Jacqueline Gr uh, Hill, she got very upset about this and yeah, he said something about it. But here's the thing. James Charles got a lot of support in that instance. Now, when I look at these two situations, and I don't know if you could tell just by looking at me, but I don't do my makeup. All right, actually, I do have a couple videos where I did do my makeup. The last one actually was following a Rob Beauty Christie tutorial. This looks good. I think that came out pretty well. Let's see. That looks good. Would you go out with me like in public like this? I'll link that up in the info card. Go check that out. But anyways, yeah, so when looking at the two situations, like, with James Charles, it was like this this reaction to the makeup and like there was swelling and everything like that. But Jaclyn Hill, her product was expired and you can like physically see like, oh, this is messed up, right? So I look at that and I would love to hear from all of you down in the comments below, like when looking at these two situations, why do you feel that they've, they've been causing a different reaction, all right? Because it seems like Jaclyn Hill is getting a lot more flack, but maybe in my opinion, maybe it's because there's a lot more responsibility on how old this product is and if it's expired rather than how people's skin reacts to a product. But all of you who know makeup better than I do, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, something that I do wanna talk about is something that a lot of us have experience with and looking at you know criticisms when we screw up and things like that and, and why. So like from my personal experience, I used to be a massive screw up. Hell, I still screw up, just not on the level that I used to, all right? So those of you who haven't met me yet, I'm coming up on seven years sober in just a couple weeks here, but I kept screwing up and kept screwing up and saying, listen, it's gonna be different this time. It's gonna be different this time. But every single time I was put to the test, I screwed up all over again. So when I look at this and I look at Jaclyn Hill's last launch, you know, when she collaborated with Morphe, like, this product, like when I heard about this story, like obviously my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, you know, she uses makeup and stuff like that. But like, I heard about this story, I'm like, why Jacqueline, why? Like I would feel like just the sheer paranoia of what happened with the last launch, you would like almost go through every single lipstick, checking it to make sure that it was perfect before it got sent out. Like it had to be the perfect launch. So like we need to take the experiences that we've been through and use them to have a better future, right? Like if we don't learn from where we've screwed up, then what good is it happening at all? It is just a complete waste. And that's how you gain wisdom, right? Because wisdom is taking knowledge and putting it into practical use, right? But if not, we just keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again, all right? So at this point, I don't know if there's a clear resolution that Jaclyn Hill has presented for how she's gonna fix this. I, I, I believe some people might be returning them and things like that. But at the end of the day, we need to look at what we're doing, take accountability for it. And when new situations come up, we have to ask ourselves like, have I been in this situation before, okay? What worked and what did not work for me last time, all right? like. As I continue to stay sober, I get DMs, I have other people who reach out to me and stuff like that, and they ask me, they're like, Chris, how have you been able to stay sober? Because I'm somebody who had multiple relapses. I used to relapse constantly, right? And I tell everybody this, I have one little secret, one little secret for my recovery, and it's kind of just something I use in life in general, is this, like, whatever I was doing that was not working, I have to evaluate that and do something different. Like all the other ways that I tried to stay clean and sober, they did not work, right? So now what do I do moving forward, okay? But I try to use this in every situation that I have, right? I try to use it when I'm looking at, you know, creating YouTube videos or dealing with a situation with my son or friends or family members. I try to take a little step back and say, have I been in this position before? How did I handle it before? Did that work or did it not work? I think that's one of the best things we can do as we continue to move forward and just try to live a little bit better of a life, all right? But anyways, <laughs> Hopefully this all works out for Miss Jaclyn Hill. Like this screenshot I have behind me, she was extremely excited to launch this product and everything like that. So hopefully she bounces back from this. Like again, like if you are new to the channel, like I don't believe in canceling people and everything like that, but 
there's this fine line between like canceling and accountability. You know what I mean? Like when people screw up, they need to be held accountable for it, but we also need to give them the opportunity to learn and grow. And something else that we need to practice is a little bit of forgiveness as well. So hopefully she rectifies this situation, re-releases the product or, you know, whatever she has to do to get herself out of this because launching any kind of business for anybody is a huge deal. So hopefully she's able to bounce back from this. All right, but let me know your thoughts and opinions on this subject down in the comments below. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to support what I'm doing here, get access to our monthly Q&A, get your name in the credits, some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there. And don't forget, if you haven't yet, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul.